So now we're on to the H1, beginning of the H row. I've got my triangle pieces and my edge, my corner pieces and my squares and rectangles all sorted out. Now, the trick here is to what to do about assembly. And there's a glare, which is so fun. So I'm going to assemble the middle and then put these two on and then put these two on and then have a row. And then I'm going to put these together in a row and I'll put these together in a row. And I'll do the same thing on this side and I will connect these two and these two before attaching the corner to this side. So now I'm going to start with my basting of the squares and assembling of the middle. So I got my squares my rectangles basted for my middle assembly. I had fussy cut my fabric when I was prepping it. So now I've got the little white flowers on the middle part. I've taped these together and then I'll stitch them and then I will stitch these together and I will stitch these bits together for my middle. So I've almost got this whole row, middle row, assembled and I've just got to put this other piece on. So I will line this up and tape it and I will have my whole middle section and I will go and work on the corner section. So I got my middles sewn together and these are the bits for one of the corners. And I have taken them and glue basted and then I put the tape on them. And then this one, once it's put together with stitches, will end up going here. And this is the other bit. And this will end up going here. I will put these two together first, then I will attach it to the middle. So the three bits are done, and now it's just a matter of finishing these two seams and then I will have a completed H1 block. So when I went to tape this, I had a little problem. I have two marks. I can either line up the very edge right up here, maybe. And then when I when I go here, this line isn't quite lined up, so I'm going to line up this square edge down here. Because that's the most visual. And then any discrepancy up here will go into the sashing and it will work itself in. So on this end, it's the same thing, I think. Get that knot out. Actually, that one's not so bad. So, I'm going to match this seam right here. This one matches up pretty well, but even if it didn't, I could work that into the sashing. And now I have a completed H1 square ready for sashing.